Well, hello again to uh, Andre Rossi. Hello to you and your and your public. And thank you. Very thank much. you. And thank you for having me. Thank you for uh, agreeing to this interview. Um, so there's been some interesting developments over the last few weeks. I from what I've learned from you. Um, you recently reported that you spent several days of meetings and testing that you said were very important for the development of the ECAT. Could you tell us what that was all about? Yes, with our new partners uh, for um, on the uh, days four, five, six, seven of uh, May, we made a series of uh, tests of the prototype uh, that uh, uh, the, the last prototypes made uh, uh, together with them and the tests have been successful so we discussed the production lines uh, and the, all the particulars and after all these meetings we made a plan based on which i confirm that uh, uh, we should start the deliveries of the cats uh, within this year, as I hoped and I, as I already thought. But now, uh, but I'm, now, I am more uh, sure than I was before, and uh, so I can uh, deem uh, what happened very successful. And um, you. What's what size prototype were you testing? The modules, the modules of ten watts, but in different assemblies, up to a maximum of five kilowatts. Okay, so you did testing on various sizes of assemblies. Of assemblies. Okay. Of assemblies. So, okay, so you basically, it's almost like a Lego brick, right? Yes. Yes. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, just an analogy, but you can make them as small or as large as you can. Minimum, probably. Absolutely. Can. Absolutely. Okay. And what was the maximum size you reached at, during this testing? Five kilowatts. Five. Okay. Did you uh, do it indoors, or were you out on the racetrack again? No, 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 no. We we were in my, my laboratory. Okay. Okay. Um, what were the um, topics of discussion in your meetings? Uh, the topics have been, apart of the technological ones, uh, related uh, uh, properly to the uh, to the tests with the, the toys. But uh, uh, the, 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 the topics apart of this have been concentrated in the uh, business plan related to the manufacturing and uh, uh, and the sales and uh, from my, from my my contribution has been especially on the specifics of uh, the manufacturing which is the kind of robots we need uh, um, and uh, things like this the application of the artificial intelligence that I must confess is helping very much our work. Okay. Um, now you had said recently on your on your blog that your partner, who you say is your partner, is actually a group. Can you explain what kind of entities are part of this group? There are three uh, components. One is the manufacturer. Uh, one is the um, financial uh, sector which is a fund and uh, one is an electricity provider uh, that uh, uh, will uh, make electricity also with the cats to distribute them to distribute the electricity in the grid so this sounds like a like a power station type business yes Okay, so uh, yeah, sending electricity to the grid. Uh, they already do. 
Oh, I see. So this would just be uh, an additional they technology. Are already, they are already a major electricity distributor. I see. I see. Um, have you uh, or did you at, at this meeting decide on the final design of the ECAT product? You mean, you mean uh, aesthetically? Well, I suppose, yeah. Uh, like, a, you know, like a, an iPhone has got the design. Uh, you don't trust, you don't trust my uh, designer uh, uh, talents. All right. <laughs> I pardon you. No, obviously, uh, beside the box, I am not able to design. Yes, uh, uh, probably the body of the cat uh, will be uh, assigned to a proper designer to make it uh, uh, just a, a bit more appealing than just the box. Uh, but the internals, uh, w would you think that is finalized? No, the internals are is finalized but the internal the client is supposed not to open the gate right understood but you you need also to have for security reasons we will put a warning that if uh, uh, to open uh, to open the box that will be sealed to open the box will mean to lose any guarantee and also any any uh, uh, responsibility of us for any damage or uh, accident that uh, could occur but you obviously need to have the internals designed in order to start production yes of course but this is done already that's completed okay okay yes. now uh, what about the process of building these things um i think you, you mentioned earlier about robots um is that an important aspect of the production? To make to, to respect the prices that we have put in uh, in uh, uh, in the publications so far, the robots are absolutely necessary. Of of course, they are not necessary. They are never necessary. But uh, if you use uh, not uh, if you don't use the robots, the cost of manufacturing did become exponential okay so now you said you have a manufacturing partner are they uh are they familiar with robotics yes so they have the expertise to yes help help build the production lines and so forth yes but consider that uh, as of today in all the world any industry that makes uh, massively any kind of item wherever you want uh, america the uh, united states china uh, japan uh, europe wherever you want all all of them use already robots right otherwise so, they, they cannot be competitive and so do you anticipate many jobs being created uh, because of your uh, industry absolutely yes because you know uh, uh, robots anyway need uh, manpower you know uh, the, the, the industries that uh, manufacture massively items uh, still have a need of uh, workers and the workers the workers become much more uh, spe specialized and uh, much more lectured to to uh, maneuver a, robot, a robotized system so it's a fairly skilled job absolutely so are you uh, or are you or your partners going to be starting to hire new personnel but uh, necessarily yes not me because i will be the chief scientist so i will uh, my my duty will be uh, to to direct the the evolution <clears> of <throat> the further evolution of a cat but uh, necessarily they will have to hire people because the cat will be added to their present production they will not go to substitute their present 
production. I, could you explain that again? I wasn't quite sure what you mean. They're going to be added to their present production. You mean they're already making things? Yes. So it will be an, another product of this manufacturer? Yes. OK. So if somebody looks at your work and says, oh, I think this is a job I would like to, uh, uh, or an industry I'd like to participate in, how can they, uh, let, how can they uh, apply for work? They can send an email to me, uh, uh, info at leonardocorp1996.com. Okay. But I think everybody, in, and, and I will uh, pass on it uh, to, the, to, to, to the specific section they want to apply for. And I know you've mentioned that you will hope to have three manufacturing centers, US, Europe, and Asia. Yes. Uh, so you will need you'll be needing workers in all those places. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, how soon do you think it will take for you to start producing ecats from this? Not time? me, but my partners. Yeah. Uh, as I said, within the the year twenty twenty five. And you have already received I don't know how many. Um, pre-orders um yes do you think you'll be able to meet all those pre-orders this year or will it take longer it will take longer surely but how long do you think well um, it depends i prefer not to answer this question because that would be engaging and uh, i want uh, not to be engaged it will be as soon as possible for obvious reason because the interest of everybody is to start sales as much as possible because until then it will be only expenses but uh, right. i cannot i cannot take uh, any engagement in this sense what? i can i can say that i am sure i i am sure <clears throat> Maybe I am wrong, but I am sure. I am sure that we will start the deliveries this year, 2025. Right. And I think uh, that will be, uh, you know, what I think, I don't know if it's correct, but I would think as soon as you start deliveries uh, and people realize that this is a working technology that you'll be getting many many more orders so it could be a you could have a need to to uh increase production quite rapidly yes you are right um now we obviously know what the prices are for the pre-orders um what is your anticipation as far as the cost of ecats um as time goes on, do you anticipate the price to go down? Uh, because that's typical with new technologies. The, it's more expensive at the beginning, uh, but with economies of scale and uh, refinement, things go down. What do you think? I think that uh, we too will be on that wavelength uh, because surely the progress will uh, will will allow to to uh, and for economy scale and for an upgrade of uh, the, the the technology always happens yeah mainly in electronics because today the cat is mainly an electronic product it is completely changed the, since uh, the first decades that were much more physical and the chemical uh, uh, based concepts today electronic is the main component I, so, I know. so the so the prices will follow the trend of all the electronic products which is I think 
that the price is going to decrease. Do you see any equivalent between um, ECATs and computer chips? No, r 2 d to, you know, microchips are in my computers and microchips are also in the cat. But it is like to say, to say that uh, aeroplanes and the cars are the same thing because both have wheels. Okay. But um, manufacturing of um, computer chips now is a very highly highly advanced um production technique um i just wondered if you can produce ecats in the same way that computer chips are produced well uh, we use uh, uh, we do not make microchips uh, nor our partners make uh, par microchips we buy microchips and then we have to work on them okay understood Thank you. Um, so what was the mood amongst the group after your series of meetings and testing? Very, very excited. They are all very excited. They all have my same mission. And uh, I think we, we, are, we are a very good team. And you personally have been working on uh, ECAT technology for what? Is it 20 years yet? Uh, yes, my friend, yes. <laughs> yes. How do you feel now at this point? Because you've been working towards production for 20 years. How, how does that feel to be, on the, uh, to be on the cusp of production after so long? It keeps me young forever. <laughs> your health is good it seems like you're you're strong and uh as normal yes. yes i play tennis as always i make my one hour of jogging every day as always very good so, very good when well, i see me when i look at me in the video i said that is not me the, the, the guy is too old i am much younger yeah that was uh the interesting video that was produced uh, last week um I, w I was on it too, as you know, um, but I think he did a great job. Has been a, yes, a, a good job. Yes, and then then he's a, um, a like you are in your field. Then he's a he's a top professional in yep. his field. Yes. Yep. Well, Andre Rossi, uh, thank you very much for your time today. Uh, we thank are... you for your time and thank you for having me. You are always glad to talk with you and always grateful to you for the uh, uh, very great help that you have given uh, to our progress well it's uh it's always you interesting. And your, you and your uh, intellectual honesty thank you very much well thank we'll you. look forward to more updates as time goes on very well thank you thank you very much bye 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 bye